Tara, how concerned do people need to be here about monkeypox? Well, this morning you were speaking with Professor Sam McConkie, who's the dean of, dean of the Royal, deputy dean, I should say, of the Royal College of Surgeons, and he's been talking about this, saying that look, uh, this is unusual what we're seeing in terms of monkey pox across the world. He says that first case, the index case, was linked to travel, but then at uh, the UK, seeing a number of other cases which were uh, unexplained and unexpected transmission of this infection. He says that at the moment we don't have a confirmed case in Ireland, but he also says that uh, we're still in the process of setting up those diagnostic tools. So uh, to test somebody, those tests at the moment, he says, would have to be sent uh, to the United Kingdom. So he says, yes, we need. To prepare for this. He says he doesn't expect that it's going to be a widespread epidemic, that everyone is going to get this, but he says it is something that the country does need to prepare for. Let's take a listen. I don't believe that we'll face an epidemic in the general population in Ireland or in Europe, but I think certain subgroups uh, of people where there's a lot of social contact, a lot of intimate contact, uh, there's potential for spread within certain subgroups and potential for hospital transmission to healthcare workers, to nurses, to doctors and to cleaners also potential for spread in laboratory uh, processing of the bloods. So we really need to scale up our laboratory capacity, as I mentioned earlier, to, for safe management of simple blood samples from people with monkeypox. Well, Colette, a multidisciplinary team has now been set up in Ireland to establish, uh, it's been established by the HSE to actively monitor this evolving situation and to prepare those services uh, for the possibility of monkeypox cases arising in Ireland. But they say uh, there is no known cases uh, at this point in time. But we are seeing those cases, Colette, across Europe and in uh, the United States. Uh, 20 cases confirmed in the UK as of this lunchtime. So it is something that needs to be watched very closely.